Hey guys, so I'm back um, with another video. This is going to be my August favorites video. It's been a long time since I filmed, um, but I'm really excited to do this for you. And I have a lot of fall back to school stuff planned coming in the next week. So um, I don't know if you'll notice, but I did get my hair cut. Um, and that is one of my favorites. There is a salon in Boston. It's in Cambridge. It's called Judy Jetsons. And I went to a stylist there named Derek, and he did the most amazing job. I'm actually going there today to get my color done. Yay! Maybe I'll film um, after so you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited. I loved him. The salon was amazing. Um, the owner of the salon, Judy, calls you like two days after your cut to make sure you like it. It was just great customer service. It's an amazing salon. So if you're from Cambridge or Boston and you're looking for a good stylist, Judy Jetsons, they're all great, but I love Derek. And if you go, just d definitely tell them that um, I sent you because they like to see who refers people and stuff. So um, anyway, I'll get on to my favorites, um, but that was definitely one. I'm loving my haircut. I think he did a really, really good job. Um, so my first favorite, I guess we'll start with the very little skincare I have. I've gone back to my Lush Tea Tree Toner, which I really like. Um, it just, it really minimizes the amount of breakouts that I get. I don't know why exactly. It's got um, tea tree grapefruit and juniper in it and it says take control of those troublesome pores, a bestseller for normal to oily skin. Um, so I don't know, I just spray this all over my face. You can use it on a cotton pad if you'd like, but I love this stuff. I use it um, all the time, even with other toners. I've also been loving my Luxiva Merrill Norman Clear Complexion Spot Treatment. This is just salicylic acid, and salicylic acid usually um, doesn't work for me. I use sulfur from Proactive, the refining mask, on um, as a spot treatment, but this one works so well, and I forgot until I found it the other day, and um, I just love it. And it might be the amount that it has in it. This is 1% salicylic acid, so that might have to do with it, but I'm not sure, but I really, really, really like that. And then um, this month, I've been loving two foundations. The first one is Laura Mercier's new foundation, and I might do a review on this in a separate video. Let me know if you're interested, but it is her um, moist, oil-free... Oh my gosh, it doesn't, even, it doesn't even say it on the box. What? That's so weird. But it is her moisturizing foundation. It's called, like, Moisture Supreme... Okay, it literally doesn't say... That is so weird. All it says is oil-free foundation, but this is her like Moisture Supreme or Moisture Surge foundation. And my shade is in Golden Beige. So I'm loving that. And then the second one, it's really moisturizing. I do put a mattifying powder over it, um, which is actually, I'll just show you that because that's my next favorite. Um, I never really bought Shiseido products, um, but they sell them where I work. And so I thought I would try this because I've been looking for a good mattifying powder. And it's just their mattifying powder. It looks like this. I don't use a sponge. It's just in there. Um, and I threw the box away, and because you have to buy the refill and then you buy the case separately, I really don't even know my shade. Actually, I do know my shade. I think I'm 0I20, like I is an igloo, 20 is my shade. That's right there, and it's a really, really good mattifying powder. It keeps me matte for as long as I want to stay that way, unless I want to put anything dewy on top. But it's really, really good at mattifying, and I wear that over the moisturizing foundation because I notice about halfway through the day I get a tiny bit of a sheen because it is a moisturizing foundation in my T-zone, but my ultimate favorite foundation that I actually just got a week ago and I'm totally obsessed with is the Dior Air Flash. Now, I did um, kind of mention the Sally Hansen um, airbrush foundation and I thought that it was going to be a dupe for this. No, no, no. This is unlike any foundation I've ever, ever, ever used. I am wearing it right now. What I do is you shake it, I spray it directly on my skin and buff it out with a brush. You don't want to go like this because you'll get it all over your bathroom, all over your hair. You just want to either, you don't really, if you can spray on like a Taclon or a synthetic brush if you really want to, but I recommend, oh my gosh, Toby just went in his crate and he's sleeping. Hi, baby. Sorry, guys. Um, but then I just spray it on my skin and buff it out because that's easiest for me. I don't want it to get, I don't want to lose product in the brush, so I just spray it on my skin, but don't spray it all over. But this is amazing. Airbrush finish dries in seven seconds, and I am shade 300. They have 200, 201, 200, 201, or 202, 300, 301, and 400. So there aren't very many shades, but I'm telling you, I would wear 300, and a lot of you would probably wear 300. It is like the middle shade. It works on light and medium skin tones. So definitely check that out. I have also been loving, which I talked about in my Mally favorites, my Mally Nude Shadow Base. This thing is really, really awesome. It, I'm wearing it now under my eyeshadow. Just looks like this, but I'll just show you. 
It's like super opaque. It's really creamy, but it like really gets rid of discoloration. Can you see that? It just makes stuff disappear. It's so good and it doesn't make my eyeshadow crease. It makes it brighter and I just really, really, really like that base. Um, I have also been loving this Laura Mercier palette I got. I don't even know what it's called, actually. What? What is with all these things not having names today? It looks like this. It was her, like, face kit palette. And those are the colors. This is, like, a cream bronzer, two cheek colors, and two, like, illuminators. And I'm wearing this cream bronzer a lot. I'm wearing it almost every day. I'm wearing it now. Um, I think it's very comparable to the Chanel Soleil de Tan. Um, I've been wanting that forever, but when I bought this, I've been using this, and it seems like a dupe for it. I mean, I'm sure it's not the exact same color, but it's a cream bronzer, which I like. Um, and so, yeah, I've been loving this. It's so good. Um, and I feel like that's like $50 some dollars or $64, something around that, which, it was, which was a good deal when I got it. Um, Okay, love my Mally Volumizing Mascara. Really, really good. Really, really black. Been wearing it all the time. Love it so much. It's really good. Um, I already talked about that, so I'm not going to rave too much. Then I've been really liking my Tarte um, Lip Surgeon's Natural Lip Luster, like lip stains. I'm wearing this one now. This shade is in um, Sweet. Looks like that, and you can see it on my lips, but just in case you can't see it very well. That's what it looks like. This came in a set I got from QVC. Um, it was the like glow your glow to go or glow your way to gorgeous or I don't know something like that. Um, but it was like the Maracuja set. Um, so I love their lip stains. They're really nice and comfortable, and they actually wear really nicely. They stay on for quite a while. Also, been totally obsessed with this blush I got from Dior. It's number eight three nine in Rose Vintage, and it is like the most gorgeous soft pink color. It has like a little highlighter and a color and I just mix them together. I'm wearing it now but I think it's just amazing. Like this is such a good color for my skin tone. If you have a skin tone similar to mine, this will look really soft, really, really, really good. I mean it doesn't have a ton of shimmer. It just gives you like a natural sheen um, and it's beautiful. It's probably the best blush I've ever used. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. Um, but it's when I put it on I was like I have to have that right away. It's so great. Um, and then my last makeup favorite is my Laura Mercier Secret Brightener, and uh, I don't think this has a shade. It just looks like this. It has that little twist up. You can see. Did that come off? Can you see that? what that looks like? See how well that highlights? I'm wearing it on my cheekbones. You can probably see I'm really glowing there. Um, but I love, love, love this. Um, brightener. It's really good. It's a really good illuminator and I've totally been into illuminators this month. I've been trying lots of different ones out. Um, so that's it for my makeup favorites. I do have uh, two random favorites. My first one is my Kindle. I got the large Kindle. I'll just show you what it looks like. My, um, my dad actually got this for me as a gift. It's sleeping right now, but um, it is uh, the larger Kindle, which I really like because it's more the size of a book. I never really liked the smaller one just because I don't like having to turn the page so often, even if you can make the font smaller, it drains my eyes, so I just don't like having to click all the time. So the big Kindle is really, really, um, is a really good thing for me, and I can take this to work and read it during my lunch hour, um, or, um, and it's just really small, so I, and I don't have to carry around a lot of books, and especially when you go on vacation, this is something so nice to have. I totally was, wasn't sold on Kindles, but since I had the larger one, I am, because it, when I went to the beach, this was all that I brought. It was awesome because I got to keep all my books on here and I didn't have to worry about packing all the weight in my suitcase or my backpack and having to carry around. It was just this, which is really nice. Um, and the next thing that is my favorite is the Hunger Games trilogy. Now, you've probably heard that there's a Hunger Games trilogy movie coming out. I think it's coming out in March, March 20-something. Um, but it is the most amazing, amazing trilogy. It's so good. It's a series of three books trilogy. And I'm on the third. I haven't finished it yet, which is so sad because I've been reading them forever. But I have been so busy, um, and I just haven't found time to read. Or when I did have downtime, I either wanted to clean or film or um, watch TV. Like today I was watching Project One Way, Runway when I know I need to read. Um, but I'm really excited. I'm really close to finishing it, and it is such a good series. I totally recommend it. If you like anything like Twilight, Harry Potter, if you like series, I think you will like this. It's kind of an action romance book and it's not about a fantasy world but it's kind of about obviously like a hypothetical like other world with 12 or 13 districts um it's just amazing i'm probably not making any sense if you've never heard of it but this is a great series um, i totally recommend the hunger games so 
definitely check that out. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this favorites video. I know I had some pretty random ones in there, but um, I am going to be making lots of back to school videos, some fashion videos, haul videos, makeup videos. It's going to be really fun. So I can't wait to do all of that for you. And I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you all next time. Bye.